Hello, my friends, and welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. This is episode number 199. And today I want to show you how I pack my work and I'm gonna be unboxing my own show that just came back from Mexico. Well, hello, my friends, welcome back to Breakfast with Sergio again. In today's episode, I'm going to unbox for you, you know, how I put my artwork and uh, for exhibition. So as you all know, because I have done previous episodes where you can see my work, I paint on paper and then I, I um, adhere the paper to a canvas. And you can see here's one piece that hasn't been uh, tubed yet. So typically when I'm ready to ship my work for a show, you know, this is about how tight the work will be. I don't um, roll it up too tight because then it's kind of hard to get it back flat. So this is like perfect size. And what I would normally do then is I would put this on a tube. So I'm gonna put this on the side. This is a tube that just came from Mexico, from a solo show in Mexico. It's a big show, but the cool thing is that the whole show is back here on this giant tube. So you can see the tube is about probably about 12 inches in diameter. Uh, the height, I am not sure how tall this is, I don't remember. Uh, it's probably about 55, 54 inches. High. So it's a, it's a pretty big, pretty big tube. Now, this can be shipped, even in at this size, I can also travel via airplane. So if I'm going to deliver it, you know, by hand, I can still put this in the airplane just fine. It still fits within the measurements. So the first thing when I do is I get one of these tubes. These are the tubes that you can buy at the hardware store. And they come in different diameters. They use these to make cement pillars, you know, in construction. So I go to that section in the hardware store where they have all these types of tubes. They are cardboard. Uh, I've seen some artists who use PVC, but PVC is super heavy, so it adds a lot more weight, especially when you're shipping. So I use the cardboard ones, and they are very heavy. I mean, I have a knife here. You can, you cannot even go through this. I mean, it's super, super heavy. So it's very thick, and it's great. And it's lightweight, much more lighter weight than if I was going to use uh, PVC. So this is great. And, and so what I always do then I create, and we're just going to uh, lightly cut this out. I create then my own uh, lid. So I create a cover, as you can see right here, nicely fitted with cardboard. I put like two or three layers of cardboard so that it's nice and thick, especially protecting the top and the bottom. So I put a lot of tape, a lot of clear tape and I reinforce it with strips of cardboard. So I, you know, I put one around, I cut the circle, and then I cut strips of cardboard and I just go across in all directions, and then I tape that all up. And that keeps it a pretty nice, pretty stiff cover. So I'm going to unpack this. Hopefully all the artwork is in good shape. There we go. go. So here you can see, you know, the different layers that make the top, and I can still reuse this. I'm going to, you know, give it some uh, uh, patching it a little bit, you know, because, uh, you know, from the shipping, it gets thrown around. I've learned that when it comes to shipping, doesn't matter how many times you put fragile, the more fragile labels you have, that's how many times they kick it. So, uh, <laughs> you just have to overput them. So, inside, now you will see, Artwork brought into the tube, nicely packaged with more cardboard all around, and then just a layer of shrink wrap. So I put this away. So I want to unpack it fully so you can see how it all fits in this nice. Too. You can see how big it is. It's a 12 inch. They always have the size. Well, and now unpack this.
how you know the whole show is unpacked. And now, of course, because this whole show is on paper, uh, there are some. Uh, this, that what happens with the shipping. There are always like sometimes kinks in the corners. I might have to you know just kind of uh, adjust it, uh, make it all flat, put some weight on it, and it would be just fine, ready for the next show. Now, this particular show, because it wasn't uh, glued to canvas as I normally do, like the piece that I showed at the beginning, where it's normally adhered to canvas, so it's much heavier. This one is just paper. There's no canvas on these pieces. So what I have done on these works, if you look a little closer, I reinforce the back of the paper with tape. So it has archival tape all around, clear tape all around, reinforcing the edges, because as you can see here, the holes where the pins, uh, you know, I use to hang the piece. And I think, I believe in the museum, what they did is they use uh, clips on top, but this reinforced tape makes sure that the paper doesn't rip, you know, accidentally. And as you can see, you know, it's in pretty good shape. So all the pieces, I mean, prepared that way with you know the reinforced tape making sure that all the edges all around is great and if there's any kinks it will be a lot easier to fix than if it was just the paper so this is how I do it my friends uh, this, this uh, is my normal method of working packing and shipping hope you enjoy it thanks so much for watching this episode share it with your friends and don't forget to watch Brave I Research you episode number 200 which comes next it's going to be a special edition. Don't miss it. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Goodbye.